the No Faith Channel, checking in. On this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am going to be talking about the squat stand, what it is, how it works, why it's probably a great option for so many of you for your home gym, how much it costs, and we're going to have a bit of a discussion about long-term thinking of your home gym. Now, this is your first time to the channel. Please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. It doesn't cost you a thing. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I typically review a piece of home gym equipment on every episode to help you decide what's going to be right for your home gym, what you're actually going to use, and what's going to be worth your hard-earned money. Before we get started, I want to know what you're currently squatting with. Are you squatting in a rack? Do you have a squat stand? Are you squatting just at your local gym? Or did you go to Home Depot and make a plywood and a five-gallon Home Depot bucket version that you're using, but you kind of want a little bit of an upgrade? Drop it in the comments below. A squat stand is exactly what it sounds like. It's two separate pieces that you can raise and lower to your desired height in order to squat in. Also, if you lower it all the way, like I have here, you can also bench with it as well. The number one reason that people love these squat stands is the price. I've seen them as low as $50 on a crazy sale, all the way up to $200 for some of the more um, extravagant ones that have a few more bells and whistles. The majority of them come in around that $100 price mark. I think I paid four years ago $100 for this set, and I have been absolutely thrilled with them. Um, there's very few differences with regards to different variations. I happen to find that majority of them are actually the same exact thing with a different name on the box. Um, a few of the variations end up being how they're connected at the bottom. Um, real small differences that unless you have specific uh, needs, isn't going to be a big issue. I was actually happy with these because it has these, you know, semi safety arms allowing me that when I bench to feel a lot more safer when I, if I have to like kind of dump out that I won't actually crush my face. Um, thankfully, I've never had to use them in an emergency, but it's one of those things I just like to have here because in a home gym environment, we don't necessarily have the spotters that we wish we had in a local gym environment. One of the nice things with regards to the fact that these squat stands are fairly inexpensive with all things considered, and they've been around forever, is that there are a ton of them floating around the used market. So I would say if you are interested in this before you kind of click that buy it now button on Amazon, definitely check out Facebook Marketplace. You might be surprised at the amount of savings you can get for something that probably will be close to brand new or at the very least still functioning like it should the day you purchased it. So I want to talk now about my use with these. Now I bought them four years ago and at the time um, it was really just to have in case I wasn't able to get to the local gym and I have used them sparingly obviously in 2020 like everyone else these have gotten a whole lot more use. When I first got this squat stand, I squatted a little bit, but by all means, I'm not an expert, and now I almost never barbell squat. I will tell you, I, just because of my inexperience, I felt that these were not very safe for me, largely because I didn't feel comfortable knowing when I needed to fight through a squat and knowing when I needed to just kind of dump out of it. Also, when I was racking the weight, not unracking so much, but racking the weight, Obviously, I'm tired after after like you know eight or ten reps. You're feeling kind of a little woozy. Racking the weight just became a little bit of a safety issue because of trying to align these and to making sure. Obviously, you can probably tell by how much they're moving now. You have to have a really flat um, home gym, or you are going to experience what I have here, which is some extra movement, some extra give, especially when you're racking the weights. That you know these. These only cost a hundred bucks and they are going to tend to tip back on you. So I would say try to put these up against a wall to add stability and put them up against the wall so that if they tip back, the, the bumper plates are going to hit into the wall to add a little bit more stabilization when you are racking your plates. Um, personally, the majority of my use with these has been for benching and for shrugs and for curls and all the other good things that this thing can provide and it has absolutely delivered. I probably bench in this thing once a week and then do curls and shrugs in it once a week. So it gets its use, it's held up and I've had no issues with it. But with regards to racking that bench weight, again, I put it up against a wall because when I come back with that weight, even though I don't bench that heavy, um, I still have a little bit of movement and I want to make sure that I'm clipping in to this safety bar. One thing I will say that if you are looking to take care of your bar, that if you over time that, that it's going to rub, this is kind of like a, uh, you know, a cheap glossy finish that over the course of four years has kind of rubbed, rubbed itself dry. And I ended up getting this like safety walk um, 
kind of 3M tape in order to kind of just prevent the bar from scratching more than it needs to be. So who are these a good option for? Who should be buying squat stands? And the answer is more people than you realize. Unfortunately, with social media, we see these home gyms that are like palaces. They're $30,000 at a pop. They've got all these different types of racks. And more importantly, they've got all the space available to them. And for the most of us, we don't have the, mat the cheddar. We don't have the money. We haven't gotten that stimulus check yet. And for many of others, we just don't have the space needed to put in a massive racking system that you know you can squat in and all that good stuff. This is gonna get the job done. So if you're on a budget, I would absolutely say this is gonna be right for you. If you're looking to get something that's very practical for a limited amount of space, this also falls into that category. Now, Coop over Garage Gym Reviews, he's got an awesome home gym, garage gym channel. Definitely subscribe to him. He actually showed how you can make these out of Home Depot wood in a five gallon Home Depot bucket for like you know, 35 to 50 bucks. I think it was like 50 bucks with the price of wood these days. And I would say, don't bother making your own, okay? There's so many of these kicking around on Amazon, on Facebook Marketplace. You can get these at a very reasonable price and they're gonna perform better than your Home Depot buckets. They're also gonna store better, they're gonna be more functional, and they're gonna save you a whole lot less time putting them together than those Home Depot buckets. And even though I love the DIY home gym stuff, unfortunately, you never save as much money and you certainly don't save as much time as you think they will. Um, ideally, these have worked for me. I plan to keep them in my home gym. Will I eventually get a rack? Maybe. Um, it probably would have to be the right rack for my space and for my height. I know that if I were to get a rack, I have to commit a lot of space to it. And that's just unfortunately not something I'm ready to do just yet. One of the biggest takeaways for me with regards to these squat stands is how easy they are to move around. I'll, I'll move these out to do shrugs. I'll move them back to do bench. If I'm looking for extra space, I'll put them right next side by side and just kind of tuck them in the corner and they're out of the way. So it's that level of practicality and usefulness all for that $100 price tag has been ideal for me. And I think for many of you, especially if you're starting your home gym, this is something that you could use and you could benefit from. Would I rather see you squat in a full-sized rack versus these squat stands? Sure, but for many of us, you're renting an apartment, so it's just a temporary location. You don't wanna to have to move massive heavy equipment time and time again. For others, it is um, a finance issue. For others, it's a space issue. Those racks take up a lot of space, whether we like it or not. And I think this is a viable option for many of you, and it's something that you should consider both now and also for something that you should consider, are you still gonna be using it five years from now? This is something you can easily um, sell if you would have eventually a few years from now get more space get more money decide you want to upgrade to a rack you can take your hundred dollar investment put this on facebook marketplace and you can probably get 50 to 75 bucks for it like that hey if you came this far in the video let me know what you're squatting what you're benching what you're using to get your barbell work done drop it down below as usual thank you for watching and don't save anything 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 for the trip back this channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.